हेलो व्यूवर्स वेलकम बैक होफ यू ऑल आर फाइन टुडे आई विल टेल द इंटरेस्टिंग फैक्ट्स अबाउट स्टार फिश स्टार फिश आर ब्यूटीफुल मरीन एनिमल्स फाउंड इन अ वेराइटी ऑफ कलर्स शेप्स एंड साइजेस आल स्टार फिश रिजेंबल स्टार्स एंड दो द मोस्ट कामन हैव ओनली फाइव आर्म्स सम ऑफ दिज एनिमल्स कैन ग्रो अप टू फोर्टी आर्म्स द अमेजिंग सी क्रिएचर्स पार्ट ऑफ ए ग्रुप ऑफ एनिमल्स नॉन एज एकेनोडर्म्स ट्रेवल यूजिंग देयर ट्यू फीट दे कैन रिजनरेट लॉस्ट लिम्स एंड स्वेलो लार्ज प्रे यूजिंग देयर अनयूजल स्टोमिक्स All do sea stars live under water and are commonly called starfish. They are not true fish. They do not have gills, scales or fins like fish do. Sea stars also move quite differently from fish. While fish propel themselves with their tails, sea stars have tiny two feet to help them move along. because they are not classified as fish scientists prefer to call starfish sea stars sea stars belong to the phylum echinodermata that means they are related to sand dwellers sea urchins sea cucumbers and sea lilies or all this phylum contains approximately 7000 species many echinoderms exhibit radial symmetry meaning their body parts are arranged around a central axis many sea stars have five point radial symmetry because their body has five sections this means that they do not have an obvious left and right half only a top side and a bottom side echinoderms also usually have spines which are less pronounced and sea stars than they are in other organisms such as sea urchins there are about 2000 species of sea stars some live in the intertidal zone while others live in the deep water of the ocean while many species live in tropical areas sea stars can also be found in cold areas even the polar regions Amazingly sea stars can regenerate lost arms which is useful if a sea star is injured by a predator it can lose an arm escape and grow a new arm later sea stars house most of their vital organs in their arms this means that some species can even regenerate an entirely new sea star from just one arm and a portion of the star's central disk this would not happen too quickly though it takes about a year for an arm to grow back depending on the species a sea star's skin may feel leathery or slightly prickly sea stars have a tough covering on their upper side which is made up of plates of calcium carbonate with tiny spines on their surface a sea star's spines are used for protection from predators which includes birds fish and sea otters instead of blood sea stars have a circulatory system made up primarily of sea water Sea water is pumped into the animal's water vascular system through its sieve plate. Thanks for watching. Take care.